I've been seeing so many gorgeous wall hangings in home decor. Most of them are woven or macrame, and I just felt like doing a sewn version, you don't really need to know extra exotic skills. You can really just draw from basically whatever you have. I love vintage fabrics and I collect vintage sheets and tea towels. They become very precious because you only have that certain amount. So if you use part of a piece of fabric for you know, a little bag or something and you've got a little bit left, it's just you can't throw it away. So this is a really good project for just those tiny little bits. I'm Bets White and I'm making a patchwork wall hanging. When I start a project, a lot of times I start with a, a print that I'm really gravitating towards. And then as far as the other components that I bring in, I like to pull the palette basically out of that print. So this is a, a tiny little scrap left over from a vintage tea towel. Some of these fabrics are newer fabrics, but I feel like they all sort of fit in with the style. I'm really drawn to vintage color palettes. I think it's probably influenced by just growing up in the 70s and gravitating to, you know, rainbows and daisies and <laughs> kind of those splashy graphics. So what I have is basically kind of two, two sides of the palette. I've got the cools with the blues and the greens and then the warms with the yellows and the oranges, all sort of inspired from this one print. Getting started cutting out the diamonds, I'm going to use my template and a disappearing ink pen. I'm going to find an element on the fabric that I want to be sort of in the center of my diamond. Some people call this fussy cutting. And then I'm gonna just cut it out with scissors. I'm going to go ahead and cut out about 40 of these diamond shapes because I'm gonna want to play with the colors a little bit so I'll have a few extra. This is a woven cotton interfacing and I have the bumpy side up, so that's the fusible side. I've marked a center line and that's really helpful for me when I lay out the diamonds because then I can make sure that the center row is nice and straight. So I started with the blues and greens and then I'm going to fill in a column of the warm side and then a column of the cool side and just keep alternating. This project is pretty creative because there's different choices along the way. There's the fabrics that you use for the patchwork. This project could look really different in a different palette. I like to make sure that I don't have anything too repetitive that's lining up. I'd like this to feel balanced. And sometimes it's kind of hard to tell with different colors and patterns. So I like to use this tool. You can look through it and it's really cool because it just sort of knocks out the color in a way that lets you see light and dark. Now I'm ready to press this and fuse all the diamonds to the interfacing. Now that I have everything fused into place, I'll trim the excess interfacing that's hanging out around the edges. Next, I'm going to add felt accents to the wall hanging. I'm auditioning different colors I think I like the blue. For some reason, I have an affinity for wool. I don't really know why. You can kind of steam it into submission. It's easy to sew. My mom's a big sewer, and even my dad sewed for a while. When I was really little, I used to just play in the actual sewing machine case. So I used to play with all the little notions and things. Felt doesn't ravel when you cut it, so you don't really need to finish the edges. It's super easy to use. I'm cutting out my batting and my backing of the wall hanging. I like that there's some parameters to a project. It kind of engages the creative problem solving. It sort of gives you some limits and, and then it helps you make the decisions. Like if you can kind of do anything with everything, then like how do you know what you're doing? But if you have some parameters, then I think it helps guide you. I'm using scissors to trim the corners and that will reduce bulk. So when we turn it right side out, the corners will look nice. I'm cutting three loops to sew to the top of the wall hanging. One will be in the center and then one on each side. 
I just like unique ways that things go together. And there's the fabrics that you use for the patchwork, and then there's the felt accent, and then the yarn accents. And I think each, each one of those components can sort of shift the overall look of the project. And there's one tassel. I do like combining materials. I think it really adds a lot of visual interest and texture and dimension because I love sewing and knitting and other fiber crafts. Putting them all together just, it just makes it the best. And I'm all done. I would display this in a bedroom or an entryway or even a family room. It can go anywhere, I think. A lot of people think that they're not creative, and I know everyone is. I think sometimes they've just sort of misplaced their creativity. I think everybody's a beginner at something, and just be really kind to yourself and, and take it one step at a time.